Nico, I don't know if you've heard it, but my brother Derek's dead. No shit. Yeah, I just hope he was smacked out of his brain when it happened because it wouldn't have suited him to be jonesing when he died. There isn't any good way to go, though, is there? I guess not. Gerald got arrested, too. They got him in the Albany State Correctional Facility. They took Jerry down? Don't worry, he's always being hauled in, but the charges don't stick. Come to Derek's funeral. It'd mean a lot to the family. It's today at the church in Suffolk. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Sit back and enjoy the ride. So can you take me to Amethyst Street? Jill Von Krasenberg and them booty cutters? I'd do Hi, something Nico. special hey, with that. I'm sorry to hear about your brother. Yeah. I didn't really know Derek that well. I remember looking up to him as a kid. He had a dream back then. He was inspired. The Derek that came back to Liberty City was broken. He probably wanted to die. Yeah, it still has to be hard for you. It's hard for my mom, trying to be there for her. Are you going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. Quick change of... Here we are. It's a wrap. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. That is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith. And that is what he gave us in his way. Derek gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. You've got a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know.
some advice. Don't get up when I fucking put you down. We got cops in the vicinity, Nico. In 400 yards. Turn left. Then immediately right. Frankie's boys! Can you believe right? Driving in Liberty fucking city, eh? I think we finally lost him. If Derek was alive, he'd need a shitload of horse to deal with the stress of this situation. If Derek was alive, he wouldn't be in this situation. That's a valid point, Nico. Who knows what sort of situation we'd be in. Derek needed a good dose of smack to cope with most of the situations that life threw at him, though. You gotta admit that. We all have our ways of coping, Pecky. That was Derek's. He had the hard life. He's having a hard death, too, if this is anything to go by. I never knew it was so difficult to put a body in the ground. That's why I normally tie breeze blocks to him and throw him in the humble. Is that what you suggest we do with your brother? You're a sick man, Nico. I'd fucking slap you if I didn't love you so much. It's only consecrated ground for a brother of mine. Okay, this is it. We can put him in the ground now. Thanks, Nico. What for? Derek never had many friends. He sort of lived in his own head. It means a lot, you coming here and helping this messed up family of mine. I did not come for Derek. I came for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. 